used to be that people read their local newspaper, they watched the 6 o'clock news, maybe they watched Tom Brokaw, Peter Jennings. Those media still exist, but how much have they lost their reach and influence? No, I mean, obviously, because of the segmented way of, of media, um, they're just not as influential. I mean, if you look back at the, um, you know, the impeachment of Richard Nixon, it was basically based on what people saw on, on three networks, um, you know, that were, were very, very objective. Um, you know, now people are going to all sorts of different places to get, to get their news. So you're referring to the growth of Fox and CNN and MSNBC as outlets, kind of, uh, n how have they changed the game in terms of what people view on a national perspective? Well, they've obviously have, have changed it because if you're, if you're taking in news, um, you basically go look at a, a channel that um, reflects, reflects your, you know, your views. What is the effect, the impact of people kind of, as you suggest, watching their side for the, for the national news? Well, the impact is, the impact is there's no balance and that they're going to um, listen and parrot, um, you know, what, what they hear. And because they want, they want that um, reaffirmation yeah. of their, of, of what is their, of what is their beliefs. So therefore, there's a, a dual reality or no reality. Is there a market out there for, let's call it objective news, um, or, an, or, or an outlet that, that aims to have opinion and analysis from both sides? One would like to think there is, but I just don't think in this environment um, there is. But I think on a local level, it's, it's very important. So whether, you know, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, or Pennsylvania, you know, it is important that there are local news outlets that can be held accountable. How should and how do local over-the-air channels have to adapt on how they reach their audience? Well, I think I think they are adapting. They're they're adapting because they deliver they deliver news on on multi on multi platforms. I'm told that um, some of the stations in town um, probably have more of an audience than they did when they were just. They were just on, on, on television. So, um, you know, I think the stations here, you know, for the most part, you know, have adapted, um, you know, to, you know, to the, to the new technology. How should local television news further adapt moving ahead? From the purposes of our business, I would, and I'll also be a resident, you would hope they would do more substantive things. Now, I don't expect that to be necessarily, you know, on air. Um, but at least, you know, online. You know, I think they're trying to do a good job in terms of in investigations. I think that, you know, certainly all the stations have investigative units and, and they've done some good work, but it's just, not, it's just not making an impact. Do you see the opportunity for other media to come in and fulfill that role? Either, you know, there are certainly a lot of new websites that have come up in town. Uh, WHYY has done some original reporting. Is the opportunity there for somebody to come in and fill that role? Yeah, no, no. I think that there's um, there there's certainly room for more, and I think there's room for more in a uh, in a hyper local way. Bottom line, um, from a local level, and I'll ask you from a national level, do you think people are better informed now than they were ten years ago? Considering. There are many more options of places to get your news, but it may not be as uh, substantive as it used to be. I think nationally people are better informed, even though one could question um, uh, the quality of their, of their information. Um, I think locally, no. I think locally, no. And again, I think it goes back to this whole everything's nationalized. I mean, I see stories now um, in Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia, whatever, that five or ten years ago would have just people would have been talking about and would would have created uh, you know a lot of controversy and a lot of awareness. You know, now it's just like a yawn. I mean, there's just there's just no outrage. There's just no outrage. So. Um, so I think the, you know, the challenge is on, on a local level.